Hi everyone. I've added a digital bike odometer to my power wheelchair and I want to share about this in this video. The first part was establishing why I was doing this. The purpose for me is tracking the distance that I drive the wheelchair is to help justify the cost of its maintenance. So having one that's waterproof is essential because I use the wheelchair outside on the way back and forth from my physiotherapy each week night. Besides this, the only key function I needed was the odometer. But a digital bike you know, odometer comes with many other functions, speed, comes with a stopwatch timer, date, temperature, time, running time, trip odometer, etc. So you need to decide if you'd want one that's fancy or what your purpose in it is. The next decision is the placement of it. So I'm not using it while the wheelchair is in operation. So where I put it was at the steel tubing adjacent to my right calf. Now you could consider placing it beside or on the steel tubing that connects the joystick to the wheelchair. There'd be nothing wrong with this, but it just didn't meet my needs. How I joined it to the wheelchair frame was with an epoxy. You know, epoxies are good when you're going from one type of material, ABS plastic in this case, to a different type of material, the steel tubing. The only thing you need to remember is to buy an epoxy that's compatible and sanding or roughing up the surfaces so that it will have a good bond. And then you need to have time for it to dry, whether you use masking tape or the wheelchair can sit there in a certain position for a few hours while the epoxy goes hard and finishes curing overnight. So the next step after this is getting the magnet sensors in place. I had the wheel off my wheelchair for this purpose and I lined up where the sensors would come within the tolerance the manual specified. So the distance was one eighth of an inch. So I found a place on the steel beside the motor and on one of the spindles of the wheelchair rim and mounted the two originally using tape to test it with the motor disengaged so I could just spin the tire around and then what I did after that was use epoxy so I proved it would work and then the same as before a little roughing up epoxy and let it sit while it cures. Again, this wasn't a big ordeal. It went smoothly. Now, you need to know how your wheelchair climbs over objects. So the question is, do the wheels go up and down or is your wheelchair designed so that they just always stay in one position? I had to leave some slack in the cable for when I drove over bumps and different grades in the terrain, like the transition from road surface to sidewalk. So once you've got that down, I did a cable tie and then a second one just a little bit further, like both this far apart, so it was firmly in place. For the cable tie, I found bolt holes already in the frame of the wheelchair, so it was easy to get it into position. 
And then the last bit of this was just putting the cable tie in for the rest of the cord. And since there was going to be about this much extra, I made a loop that went like this and back in, in behind. And then I've got the cable positioned so it won't get tangled up in my feet. It's on the side of the steel facing behind the wheelchair instead of facing outward so I won't hit it with my legs. All in all, this is great. And then what I've done is measured the wheel, the circumference of it. And I've set an appointment on my computer calendar. Every Sunday morning, I'm going to record the distance in a spreadsheet so that if and when the battery wears out, I'll know what the distance was and not lose the ongoing tally. Once I've started into the maintenance, I'll be able to develop math formulas that will display when the maintenance is needed, such as planning for bearings, motor brushes, new batteries, and that type of thing, so it can be predicted. And if I've got control over that, then the wheelchair is an asset and not a liability because it's breakdowns or maintenance is planned for and I can build it into my schedule instead of the other way of doing it, which is just responding in the moment of when it happens. So all in all, I'm really pleased with this. It was about a two hour process because of needing to test, confirm and reconfirm that the magnets were in their correct position. The only materials I needed were a few cable ties, some suitable epoxy, and of course the bike odometer. I brought in the bike odometer from an Asian country because this wasn't an urgent, I need it now, but I was able to, to bring it in and save some money instead of going to a big box store or a bike shop in town and buying it. So all in all, this is going to enhance my quality of life by being able to predict the maintenance and help my disability caseworker justify the amount of maintenance that my wheelchair needs once the warranty is up. I hope this inspires you to do the best possible with your life. It's really important that you remember the wheelchair is a tool and not your identity and then make the best of your situation. Thanks so much for this time that you spent with me today. Bye for now.